Welcome. Uh, within the SAP Data Sphere, you can manage connections, you can create connections, you can delete connections. This is part of the today's video. Let's start. In my former video, I showed uh, you or give you some insights regarding space management. Today, we would like to focus on connections. You can launch the connection part by clicking on the left side on connections or if you are within the space management you can scroll scroll down to the part and section connections if you click on go to connections you will automatically guide it to the connections part I ordered an SAP Data Sphere 30 days trial here with all the connections um, in it. This is automatically generated by SAP. And you see we have a BW connection, we have an SAP a, a ABAP connection to the, um, to the BW4 system. We have an uh, SDP connection to BW4, we have a model transfer, possibility here. We have a cloud storage assigned from Amazon, from Google. We have an HANA cloud solution. We have an uh, enterprise data warehouse connection to HANA. We have an MS SQL connection. We have the S4 cloud and S4 HANA system attached, attached here to my space, which is automatically generated. You can, by uh, if you would like to create a new one, new connection, you click on create. And now you have the possibility or you get the possibility to create new connections. These connection types are available out of the box. If you order the SAP Data Sphere, you get this automatically. We have an ABAP systems, Azure environment, Adverti, we have Google BigQuery, also Amazon Athena, Prelog, cloud integration, JDBC connections, We have MS SQL Server, HANA Cloud, Data Lake files. We can also connect to Hadoop, or to you, uh, we can use a generic ODB, ODB, uh, OData service, Redshift. We have um, Amazon a Simple Storage Service, the BW system, an ECC, or we have also the cloud solutions regarding C4, the marketing cloud. We have a BW model transfer, which is used to consume queries out of the new BW4 HANA system. With this, the query is automatically uh, connected to our SAP data sphere and all the dimensions will be automatically built. We can use a generic uh, SFTP, we can connect to blob storage, and this is a new one, which is uh, appearing um, since some weeks. This is Apache Kafka. For example, if you, if you, for example, use one one specific um, tile here, for example, Microsoft Azure Data Lake Storage, you can click on it. You will get be uh, you will get a prompt where you need to put in your storage name, the root path, uh, the authentication method the key and then by clicking next you will get then further prompts you see here this was first uh, the step one step two we are on a connection uh, configure connection properties and then you need to give it a name and a description and then it's finished then you can consume directly data out of it let's let's have a look to one specific connection here for example um, an ms sql server connection you can mark it, click on edit, and then you see the information for this, this particular connection. Uh, it's named uh, MSSQL. These are the databases uh, and also which data provisioning agents should be used to the, for that connection. And you have for every connection advanced properties settings. Uh, which are available if you click on the, uh, this button here. Uh, you can um, then adjust those info, those settings. And let's let's have a look to an um, SAP BW4 system. 
this is um, much simpler. We have only one host. You know, um, okay, we have one host. We have one port. The username is already established by SAP. It is uh, not shown furthermore. If you uh, create a, create the one connection, uh, you need to type in again if you would like to save it. Um, here, then, we also have to choose one data provisioning agent. You see that you that a lot of connections are possible. Uh, you, you can name it. You can create it and also delete it. You can also click on validate. Uh, if we, uh, for example, use this uh, connection, let's check if the connection is valid. Here you see the connection is valid, the data flow is enabled, and remote tables are enabled. Um, with the possibility or with the usage of the BTP platform, and especially the open connectors part, you can also integrate more than 160 different further connections by adding an open connectors account here. If you have assigned this open connector account to a specific, um, to this specific, specific space, you get uh, able to click on create. And then there is a specific area for open connectors, which is this one, which is grayed out at the moment, yeah, but here, this will be available if you assigned here an open connectors account. Okay, thank you for watching.